enjoyed that morning montage. It is Saturday that I am filming this, and that is what our typical Saturday mornings look like. We are getting ready to head out to an antique store, and I want to take you guys with me, but I refuse to go anywhere until my house is tidy. <laughs> we are going to be driving to Collegedale, Tennessee, to the shop on Main. I'm so excited to go visit the store. It's about two hours away, and I follow them on Instagram, and I'm always in awe at everything that they share. So Ernie has agreed to drive me there so we can go check it out. They're open from 10 to 5 today. It is now... 9.40, so I think if we leave now, we'll make good time. I'll pick you guys up when we get there. This shop blew my mind. I had no idea that it was 10,000 square feet of goodies. Now this front area is mainly the owner's stuff that she, um, you know, collects and sells. And it is such an upscale um, store, you guys. It is just decorated beautifully. It makes you want to buy all of the things when you walk in. It's just staged beautifully. And I spoke with the owner a little bit. She didn't want to be on camera, which I totally understand. Um, but I did talk with her and she said that she is very specific with her vendors and letting them know that she um, expects um, her shop to um, portray a certain image. And so Everything was just staged beautifully. Each booth that we walked into offered a multitude of items that um, gave you either ideas for your own home to stage things or nothing was too fussy. Everything was very, um, you know, d like uh, user friendly. I, the, what I'm trying to get at is, is Typically, when you go into a store, you know, you'll look at to the way they have things displayed and it's usually displayed with items, you know, that don't really go with it, but go um, together as far as style. Um, so it's not really user friendly. It's not really giving you the, the ideas that you could use in your everyday life. But here in this store, for instance, a mantle is set up in a way that gives you complete inspiration for using the items or for using items that you have in your own home. And they have a multitude of antiques, new um, and, you know, vintage and an antiques, vintage, new, um, all kind of combined together. So I think that that's perfect when you walk into a store and they have all of those items paired together because um, if you have items at home already that you want to incorporate, you know, vintage or antique or even new, if you're somebody who collects vintage and antiques and you want to incorporate some new items, this shop really gives you the ideas on how to do that. I was just blown away. <laughs> I mean, each area I walked through and I was like, oh my gosh, there's another opening to another, you know, area. Um, my camera does cut off at about 5,000 square feet, so <laughs> I didn't get the whole 10,000 square foot area, but um, I, you guys are getting a pretty good view of how amazing the shop is. We did pick up some things that I'm going to be sharing a haul with you guys um, here in a minute, but um, I just wanted to buy everything up. A lot of the stuff was not style um, for my home, but um, I fell in love with this this artwork and I thought these were really great prices for the size and type of art that they are. Um, I didn't think that they were overpriced. Um, this hamper I should have grabbed. I really should have. I was in love with it and am really kicking myself for not grabbing it. <laughs> um, hopefully one day when we go back it'll still be there, but um, the amount of um, inspiration that you receive when you walk through the store is just your brain is on overload and you're just in awe. So um, good job to the um, storefront owner um, for, you know, 
having your vendors create spaces that inspire because when you walk into booths and, and you guys have probably been to many, um, you know, malls like this where the, um, this, the booths are just cram jam packed, but this one is fabulous. So kudos to the owner. Okay, guys, we are back home now. My camera cut off after about 5,000 square feet of that 10,000 square foot um, building. It was huge. And I got as much footage as I could get. But I want to give you guys a haul of what we picked up there. And then we ended up going to a garden center right after that, of course. And then we went to go have lunch and then we came home. So, but now we're in a hurry because we're gonna go see the grandkids. But let me give you guys a haul of what we picked up. So I, it's a little late for this, but I saw her and I had to have her. Um, but we picked this up at the antique mall. This is this is all from the antique mall. Isn't she cute? Got a basket with eggs. And I haven't decided where I'm gonna put her. I think I might put her on the front porch. $30. Look at her dress. Look at that. Is that not adorable? So cute. Okay, so I have this idea for, I think probably next spring for my mantle. It's just something that's been floating around in my head, but I was gonna need a lot of baskets for it. And I found a booth there that had a ton of little baskets for $4. Is that not so sweet? And I need them with handles. I got this one as well. And this one here. And this big one. I've been looking for a horse bust to put on my sofa table. And as we were checking out at the antique mall, look what I already found. Look at this, you guys. How much was it, babe? $35. $35. Look at the detail on him. Oh, so pretty. I love him. Oh, so good. That is it. That's all we got at the antique mall. Then we went to the garden store. We picked up several little plants. Coleus. These are the Wizard, Wizard Golden Coleus. Festive Dance Coleus. Is that not beautiful? This one is the Wizard Scarlet, but I don't think we they called it the Wizard Scarlet. The grower that we got it from, but... Um, this one did, they did so well. These coleus did so well in my garden last year. And then I picked up these, I saw these and I thought, I have to have them. The sweet potato vine, but it's a tri-colored sweet potato vine. Look at that, how pretty. And then I got some Creeping Jenny. This is, they, they, it's called this, I can't pronounce it. Uh, focus camera, there we go. How do you say that? Liz... Lysamachia Lice, Gold. Creeping Jenny. It's Creeping Jenny. Okay. I picked this girl up. You guys, she is probably about, I don't know, one and a half feet tall. I love her. Very heavy. Heavy, heavy, which is why I'm not holding her. And look at the price on that. I couldn't get over it. Wouldn't have found it for that price at Home Goods even. I promise you. We got a fern, an indoor fern for her. And I'm, I just, I can't wait to put her in her place. She's so beautiful. And then Ernie and I got a dog. This is the only dog we will ever have. Is he not adorable? I love him. And look again at the price. Look at that price. 40 bucks. I can't pick him up, he's heavy. So heavy. Now these are meant for the garden, but they're not going in the garden. They're staying in my house. Okay, now we're going to style everything that I picked up today. That is it, that is all I got. Um, we're gonna go ahead and style all this stuff. So I want you guys to see what I'm gonna do with everything, what my plans were for it when I bought it. Um, but we'll do that tomorrow. So there'll be a change of clothes, but it'll be in the next clip, so. So we got two more columbine and we're going to plant those right back here and then I'm gonna plant up my bird bath yay and then I got two yellow mandanvia so pretty so what Ernie's gonna do is he's getting ready to paint these to give him a fresh coat of paint and 
that one over there. So he's gonna give those a fresh coat of paint. We are going to take these and from the front and we're gonna plant those in those pots and then we're gonna plant the Mamnumvia in these pots here. They did so well last year. Last year we had red, I believe. This year we have yellow. So I'm going to get this stuff placed um, where I want it and then we're gonna go out front and I'm gonna plant up um, the bird bath, place my bunny in her wagon and then my spring pillows. such a beautiful weekend to be out in the garden and um, you can see neighbors coming up and visiting and um, walking by and saying hello and oh, I just love this time of year you know I, I love porch visits and I love front yard gardening and I just love all the barbecuing the bump just all of it I love it all um, but beautiful day to be out in the garden now I'm planting up my bird bath with those fines and I do realize that all of these are going to get rather large but they're only going to get as big as a root ball will allow them which is not very big because of the um, shallowness of the bird bath so they're going to give me quite a show I believe and um, I'm hoping <laughs> I'm at least hoping and um, and you know they they only last as you know as long as the season allows them to so um i'm i'm curious i'm actually curious i'm cramming a lot in here so i'm really curious to see um what i'm going to get out of out of this bird bath the columbine we knew that we needed to um, plant a couple more because we wanted to round out the back of the bird bath um, love these plants they did so well in the past last year just amazing so i'm hoping they just really take off and do a beautiful job now they are a perennial so i'm wondering if these are going to come back next year um if you guys have any um you know knowledge of that let me know because if, if they are a perennial set on the pots um so i don't know i don't know <laughs> in my experience with this is you know we pull everything out and replace our pots with different seasonal plantings so i don't have any experience with the columbine in the ground so if you have any knowledge on that i'd appreciate it um so now i'm taking my little bitty coleus and i'm kind of you know dotting it around the garden where i know how big it gets i told told you guys in the last video that my coleus got to be about three feet tall <laughs> and probably three feet wide so it's going to fill up rather um large chunks of the garden so i'm i'm really looking forward to that um it's going to take a minute for my garden to mature and look full and that is something that i i love so um i didn't do much on my porch i still need to get some plants for the table and for that blue pot uh which you know will come will come um, we're still in spring and usually after Easter when it's warmed up and the humidity starts to pick up, <laughs> um, you know, I'm thinking maybe ferns um, in those two, two pots. They're, they're simple and they thrive in my area. So I'm thinking that's probably what I might, you know, want to do. But Ernie has those uh, containers painted and he gets them planted up, which I don't show you. Um, you know, but they, they look good. You guys will get a view of that in another video, another gardening video. But um, we're going to end the day with some barbecue and um, 
and just enjoy our time together. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so very much. That Korean chicken was awesome. Make sure to try the recipe.